What? A war? There's so many! A war of sophomores versus seniors? <laughs> what a show! They look like trash! You stupidly allowed your subordinates to be hypnotized, and now you simply watch. How do you do it? What? Did you just call me stupid? You don't protect what you must. You don't do what you must. Who, other than you, can I call a stupid leader? Those aren't even my subordinates! Fool, you have no right to lead anyone. Blind to weakness, irresponsible. The Overlord's son? Hmm. How dare you speak to me like that? Who are you anyway? Why, my name is... Master Big Star, the battle is over. Our army is victorious. Please, Master, if you would come to the battlefield. Very well. All sophomores are to head to the main battlefield. But, Master Big Star, there are still remnants of the enemy forces on that field. The Overlord's son, I shall leave this place to you. I hope you can show me a little potential for becoming the next Overlord. <laughs> Such haughtiness! Who does he think he is? Master Big Star, of course. He's like amazing in many ways. Master Big Star is the sophomore class leader. It's my first time seeing him, but he lives up to his reputation. Indeed. He has quite the caliber for being a leader, unlike Sir Mal. Exactly! Master Big Star's power is what kept the sophomores from getting caught by the seniors' hypnosis attacks. Like a fruit in season, the taste of his heart is strong. Yeah, enough of your lecturing. You guys are too cocky for being my servants. A leader just has to be strong. No matter who your opponent is, hero or not, just don't lose. See, that's my strength. He can't say I don't have the potential for becoming the next overlord now. Let's go after that master big star guy. I'll make him atone for looking down on my powers. And after that, we'll make him cough up the location of the senior classrooms. I bet he knows where they are. Uh, however, before that, Sir Mal... What is it now, Princess? Are you going to stop me? I see how defeating the Overlord lines up with your goals. Well, that is true. But do you want to try opening up your heart soon? Princess? What's that chainsaw for? Well, it seems pretty useless trying to stack up all these words, so I thought it best to take action. Taking action is fine and all, but you were quick to give up and that might be a little forced. It's a noble sacrifice to turn you back into a hero. It might hurt a little, but he's a big boy. He can take it. Oh, don't worry. I read in a book that demons can't die from this. That's a lie! <laughs> what do you think demons are? I could have infinite lives and it still wouldn't be enough! Hey, wait! Sir Mal! He's quick to run away. Um, Princess? What is it, Almaz? Why are you trying so hard to help me? To help a commoner like me who you've never even met before? What are you saying, Almaz? I know you very well. Huh? I've known you for a long time. I never forgot you since the day of my mother's funeral. The Queen's? You were a guard of the kingdom. Everyone made fun of you because you wanted to be a hero. What? How do you know all that? I like you. Like, like, like? Hmm. Sir Mal needs to let his guard down like you, so that I can open his heart. But it's not that easy. Uh, can we get back to the liking business? Huh, maybe the chainsaw was a little too painful. Then how about... Whoa, whoa, uh, Sir Mao, wait for us! What about a sharp scalpel? It won't hurt! Much! Ah, uh, what should I do? I'm a demon, but she knows who I am. And how does she know me anyway? I'm just a typical guard. How did she know who I am? She remembers me from the day of the Queen's funeral? Did I do something bad on that day? No, I don't think I did anything that would stick in the princess's memory. Then why? I don't get any of this. Greetings are the building blocks of manners. Can't do it? Then kill them! 
Don't worry! We'll clean up the corpses! Please help us by recycling! Damn it! We're hit! Medic! We got dragged into the dreadful volunteer activities of the seniors! Who cares about contributing to society? We don't care to respect our elders! I'll never give up my seat for them! I find that to donate is to die! We'll make them join a charity drive! Charge into the main sophomore forces! A blood donation purge against honor students! Put your right hand over your heart and charge! The time has come to counterattack! The target is the main senior forces! The loud greetings and sports squads! Listen! Do not forget I am with you! Believe in me! Trust the evil fiend next to you! Take back your freedom! Yeah! Fools! Easily led into our trap! Seems this is gonna be Master Big Star's grave! We just need to get rid of Master Big Star! Then no one can prevent us from our goal to defeat the Overlord! Looks pretty crazy out there. Huh. It seems the seniors are winning. <laughs> he said all that stuff about my potential and whatnot. <laughs> Look what good he can do. There you are, Overlord son. Seems you've managed to clean up the remnants. Somewhat useful, I see. Even now, you act tough. The way I see it, you're going to lose this war. But if you tell me where the senior classrooms are, maybe we'll back you up. <laughs> now, what will it be? Seriously, how inalien can you be? Your help is but a piece of glass that was dropped on a moonless night. I'm not so foolish as to pick up something so fragile without a plan. What? You're okay with losing like this? Even if the chance of winning is zero percent, it's a leader's role to make it a hundred percent. I doubt you would understand that. Guys, stop battling with your egos. You're both class leaders. If you can cooperate, we can get through this. Yesterday's enemies are today's friends. A true friendship sprouts on the field of battle. At least, I believe so. There's no need for such an eerie thing to sprout anywhere. I do things alone. Two tastes may seem repelling at first sight. However, an unexpected combo can bring out the best taste at times. If you both have time to argue over excuses, try tasting it first. 